So I got a video request from Mr. Nafil um, from Abuja and he's asking what okay it says how many liter does a 407 with EWT engine takes engine oil I think, let me, I think it didn't uh, the person wasn't carrying with it he said how many liters of oil does uh, an EW10J4 engine in Pojo 407 takes? Now, um, of course, if you go by the manual, the user manual, it says it takes about 4.2, I think 4.3 liters, if I'm not mistaken. So it approximately like 4.5 liters. So that's what you're supposed to use when you train and refill if drain the engine oil and want to refill with fresh oil of course I've done videos on recommended engine oil on these engines and other EW engines now just because uh, Pojo says use 4.5 in liters of engine oil in the EW10, EW10 J4 engine does not mean you must empty the 4.5 liters inside the engine while when you want to refill the engine oil refill the engine with the engine oil the reason why I'm saying this is most times when you drain or remove the oil drain oil drain plug and drain out the engine oil not everything comes out not all the oil comes out from the engine, the old oil in the engine, not all of them will come out. So what it means is, it's likely. Don't I'm not saying uh, you, you know that is certain, but it's likely you may have close to half a liter still stuck inside the engine, or less half a liter. You know, it all depends on probably how the car is it level. Depend how you park the car level facing up uh, this and that you know so the point is try as much as you can to get all the oils out however know that it will be difficult to get all the oils inside the engine out so my advice is when you are well, after draining the oil you refill the engine with uh, the oil first pour while refilling the engine with oil first pour uh, four liters first in this case for this engine for at least between 3.7 to four liters so that even if there is they, that you see half like half a liter or less inside the engine at least when you pour that four liters or 3.7 liters you may find out that it has already gauged but if you go and follow that instruction and pour up to 4.5 liters most cases it will over gauge there are cases there are, there were times when i drained engine oil in my own personal pojo cars and while refilling even before i get to four liters the oil gauge the oil dipstick will show the oil has gauge while the manual says for the v6 engine use 4.75 or 4.8 approximately engine oil depending on you know power which are changing oil filter or blah 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 but I found out that just putting only four liters it will get job meaning that I still have like 0.75 or the other part inside the engine that didn't come out so and also why why you feeling the oil well when you pour the first four liters then you now if it has engaged you now gradually add oil don't quickly pour everything just be doing it small small and be gauging it until you get to middle between the minimum and the maximum mark i always prefer to do it that way don't fill it up to the to the maximum just because the, the you see the maximum mark there doesn't mean you must fill it to that place leave it at least a little somehow something below or a little bit below the maximum mark 
if you don't understand what I mean, just leave it in between, just in between the minimum and the maximum. But let it be just closer to the maximum mark. There are many reasons why it's safe to do that. I've done tons of articles and videos on that. As for the engine oil, like I said, I've, and I'm not I'm here to tell you which oil grade to use. I've done articles, videos on the recommended oil for that engine. So you now know the quantity of oil to use. Um, I don't know, I was actually, when I was doing this, I was looking for where I kept the oil filter. I have the recommended original oil filter for that engine. Uh, as at the moment that I'm doing this video, um, it's 3,500. If you're interested, you can contact me and you get yours. Um, and if you want, you can buy the fake ones in the market and deal with If there's any consequences, you can you live with it. So, I hope this helps or uh, explain your questions.